One for each other and all for one. The three brave amigos are we. Welcome back to this already, the final segment of today's Price of Business, and I am your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. Do you want to mention today's program brought to you in part by several fine, outstanding organizations and groups, including uh, our friends over there at uh, tax, TaxmanBob.com, right? Yeah, yeah and, TaxmanBob. Uh, TaxmanBob.com, just TaxmanBob, and of course, Netrepid. Dot com. There, there we go. go. I get it out eventually. You know, thank God we have an entire hour for me to get these out. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, it's been an interesting, unusual program. Covered a lot today. I do hope people, uh, you know, take advantage of our suggestion to help nonprofits. Do it all year round, but particularly this time of the year is a great opportunity to do it. All right. We're going to uh, spend this final segment. It's uh, my producer, Sylvan Kramer, again. Uh, and then um, Dan Shedd, who is intern extraordinaire, and myself, Kevin Price. And uh, we send uh, Dan Shedd on his ongoing mission to find stuff that is uh, interesting, entertaining, and otherwise useful. How are you doing, Dan? I am doing great, Kevin. How are you all doing? We're, we're fine, thanks. What we do you can got hear f- you. Yeah, we can hear you. What do you got for us? Well, Stephen Hawking, the famous uh, theoretical physicist, wants to be a villain in the next James Bond film. I love that. I I love that. I put that up on Facebook, and I just think it's the best news ever. I have to agree. I think he would be the perfect villain um, for the next James Bond film. In an interview, um, he told, uh, or he, in an interview with Wired Magazine, he told the, um, the magazine that he said that uh, the wheelchair and his computer voice would fit the part. Yeah, and I think I they need to, to modify. I think they need to modify the the uh, computer voice because I am sure you have heard it before. Use Darth Vader type. Yeah. <laughs> well, they actually said they're upgrading his software. Yes, they're working on that. Yes. Yeah. I will destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good story. That's a pretty good story. So what's the likelihood of this? Did he just, like, made himself available, just FYI? Yeah, yeah just FYI. Know? I think it's just FYI. I don't think they're actually saying, you know, we really wanted to get Stephen Hawking as uh, Blofeld, but since he's, you know, got ALS and probably not going to uh, be the most reliable uh, actor, uh, we're going to go with uh, Christoph Waltz instead. I don't think they did that. Yeah, but, but um, yeah, I, I, well, I hope not, because, you know, he certainly has uh, proven himself capable in spite of ALS. And I don't know if you knew it, his original intention was to be like a, a brick cleaner or something. What? He, yeah, when he was in high school, he had absolutely no intention to pursue uh, scholarly pursuits. Uh, then he started going into college because that's what people do. Then he got stuck, you know, struck with the ALS. He had really low ambitions, though. Yeah. He wasn't, uh, at least, you know, this is what I'd read years ago. And uh, the ALS was a game changer. It's like, you know what, uh, it, it, there's a chance that I'm going to live long term. I better figure out how to do something that's going to make me money. And wow. that's how he decided to become a... This, Theoretical physicist? Yeah, the that's crazy. crazy. Yeah. But there's a movie about his life right now that's out in theaters. I can't remember what it's called, but... Look it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My wife, my wife saw it, and she's so excited. She's dying to see it. And and I said, yeah, it's it's too bad. You know, they got a divorce. Right. The, the, the movie's about. That. That's right. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. I thought it was. She wanted odd. a refund, and she hadn't even got the got the ticket. I what? Thought, <laughs> I thought it was odd that they that they had made a movie about this love story about Stephen Hawking. It's like, wait a second. You do realize they're not still together, right? He ended up with a nurse or something. Yeah. You know? The vast majority of people don't don't get it. You know, my wife was crushed, and, and it was it, it, she, she was like, "You shouldn't have said anything." In a way, he is a supervillain. He is a supervillain. It it resonates with him. The idea was, you know, the idea of it resonates with him. I, you know, so but he is brilliant. I will tell you that. He and is and a, so is Dan for bringing this a, story because he's this a is... future former atheist, but uh, he is. He's yeah, a brilliant right. one at that. A future former atheist. They all, all are. So, Dan, what, yes, what, what are your thoughts about this? I love it. I've uh, been a James Bond film fan uh, for a long time. I think he's the perfect fit. Did you ever I see, think they should. Did you ever see Never perfect. Say Never Again? Never. 
a true <laughs> James Bond fan will have seen Never Say I Never have. Again. How about Casino Royale, the original? original. <laughs> <laughs> with P- with Peter original, Sellers and David Niven. <laughs> I have to say, Casino Royale was my favorite Bond film. Yeah, well, you talk about the original. Yeah, it was the, a comedy. Yeah, it was it was a Woody Allen film. Okay. okay. Uh, but you got you got to check that out sometime. But never say never again. Interesting story. Uh, you know, Sean Connery had left after Diamonds Are Forever. Well, his career kind of took a nosedive, and and he wanted to get back into the uh, Bond world. But uh, because of the the licensing and all that stuff, the only one they had license to was Thunderball. And so he was able to do a remake of Thunderball called Never Say Never Again. It's actually a pretty good movie. The the glaring omissions are they didn't have as big a budget and uh, and they didn't have the use of the g- great John Barry theme, you know, the music. But other than that, it's it's actually a pretty good movie. It's got uh uh Kim Basinger's in it for one. But anyway, there you go. I'm I'm digressing. Yeah, as usual. Yeah, it's a phenomenal movie. Any movie with Sean Connery in as as James Bond is going to be better than almost it, it, any other yeah, movie that really doesn't was. have him. I mean, he he really raised the bar. I will tell you, uh Casino Royale, that's not what's the most recent one that they did? Skyfall. Skyfall made over a billion dollars Skyfall worldwide. Was by the far, best yeah. non-Sean Connery movie done, and I don't even like what's his name. Who Roger does, Moore? No, no, no. Sky. Oh, Daniel Craig. Yeah, I don't even like that dude. Mm. I don't like him. I don't think he's a good James Bond. Uh, but that movie, and it was because of the script. Frankly, Mickey Mouse could have been James <laughs> Bond, and it still would have been an incredible movie. That movie was brilliant. Well done. But could incredibly... Stephen Hawking have been James Bond? Nah, that probably wouldn't okay, work. Okay, there yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. You had to be a little bit more mobile than that. But uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah. The, the, I'm telling you right now, you got to be careful with Bond. this kind of Hawking talk. We could get in trouble. I have great respect for him. He's genius. ALS is horrible. Yeah. And what an incredible, though, inspiration of a man to get nailed with something like that and somehow can, you know, transform it into something of, of one of the most amazing careers uh, in science. I still time. don't understand how he's lived this long with ALS. I mean, frankly, it is usually within five years. They gave you're him six done months, six months to a year. You're, they gave you're him. done. And so for him to be many, many decades at this point uh, into surviving with ALS is just, uh, it's mind boggling. Yep. But then again, so is everything he talks about. So, yep, Absolutely. So, uh, very good. You did good this time there, Dan Shedd. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. By the way, you can get uh, a reference to the article uh, over there at uh, priceofbusiness.com. Thanks so much, sir. All right. Anytime, guys. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, and uh, we enjoyed it as well. All right. When we come back tomorrow, much more for you. Do want to remind you best content here shows up over there at usgatorreview.com. And uh, you've been listening to The Price of Business. 